today we will see how to create our own SFTP server and check the connection for it after that we will see how to establish connection between SFTP server and SAP tenant by the host key and finally we will look how we can replace the original data with a file by using pole and rich palette function so first we have to create our own sftp server okay so to do that you just simply need to visit this files.com i have provided this link in the description and what you have to do is you just have to start your free trial to go there and after that you can provide your details here and start your seven day free trial i have already created my free trial here and it will generate your own uh, server like this for me it is created capgemin.files.com okay after that you have to create any folder name uh, i have created cpi and inside that folder i have uh, added a file of sap course.txt and uh, this file contains the credentials url something like that you can provide any files here okay so uh, let's check about uh, the connection between this server can we connect this server to any third party application or any other stuff okay so what we can do is we can download the filezilla okay i have already downloaded it filezilla is an application where we can check uh, the connection of our sftp server uh, to download it i have already provided the link in the description you can go and check there okay so first you have to go in file then navigate to site manager after that you have to provide this uh, what kind of server you have so i am providing your sftp then your host which is this capgemin.files.com here okay after that you have to um, provide the port which is 22 the credentials for your sftp server and simply you need to uh, connect it like this here you can see your status if it is successful or not your connection between server and now as you can see it is successful and here uh, the name of my folder is showing which is cpi and inside that I have this txt file so let's check it yes it is here uh, also you can do one thing what you can do is you can upload any file from here uh, for example any file like a certificate file let's see okay so now we will check here by refreshing it now as you can see we already have this uh, drive hq dot crt so this is how you can check the connection between uh, your sftp server or any other application okay but we want to connect uh, our sftp server into our sap tenant okay so to do that first we have to fetch the host key of our sftp server how can we do that let's see you have to navigate to this monitor integration then to after that you have to go into the connectivity test and in ssh you have to provide the sftp server address here in my case it is capgemin.files.com then you simply need to send uh, this click on send uh, you don't have to provide any user credential here because the, that is a public host key so you just need to fetch the host key based on uh, this address okay so when you click on send you can simply receive the host key here and the connection is successful so what you have to do is you have to copy the host key 
and you have to paste it in uh, any txt file okay after that when you save that txt file what you have to do is you have to uh, upload that txt file into the security material from here as a known host okay if you don't uh, import it okay uh, you will uh, face issues regarding the connectivity test during the integration flow deployment of the integration flow okay so it is mandatory to add the known host uh, file here for secure connection between your sap tenant and the sftp server now we will look uh, for the integration flow here okay so basically what i'm doing here is uh, i'm providing a data from postman to https adapter and i'm replacing that data by using the pole enrich okay through this sftb adapter so uh, you might have a question why exactly we use pole enrich right uh, there might be a business use case where you need to fetch a file from sftp server in the middle of the integration okay so there we will use pole enrich and this is the difference between content enricher and pole enrich if the data contains any kind of format like json xml or any kind of format you can use content enricher there okay but uh, it is a file okay so in that case you need to use pole enrich because pole enrich only uh, is connected with this sftp adapter okay and content enricher can connect it to any uh, like o data or any other adapter to fetch the data but this pole enrich can, can be connected only to the sftp so uh, this is the reason why we are using pole enrich here because in the middle of any integration we can fetch the data or we can also replace it with the original data or concatenate it so as you can see here uh, there are options like concatenate and combine xml in content enricher we have enrich and combine okay so like that we uh, also have options here i am choosing here replace because i want to replace the file this file with the original data coming from here now coming back to the sftp configuration you need to uh, apply here the directory which is this you need to simply copy from here and add the directory then file name after that the same address of your server this username and password okay i have already uh, given the credential here in security material name sftp which is uh, the username and password of this server so simply you need to save and deploy it okay i have already deployed it so uh, let's check it okay this is the postman i have already given the authorization and the endpoint here and as the data input data I am giving simply a text data here as hello Sayyad when I click on send I will receive this data okay uh, this data uh, is uh, inside of this txt file of sap course txt which I have already given in here and as you can see here when I refresh this okay that txt file has been deleted why because in sftp adapter in the processing tab i have selected the post processing method as delete file what does it mean is when uh, the process is finished based on a particular file uh, this method will be used which is delete file so when that file has been processed that file has been automatically deleted from this server from this folder okay now when we check on the trace let's 
see. Yeah. In the trace, as you can see, uh, the HTTPS has provided the poll language as hello Sayyad and poll language has replaced that txt file into this this data that uh, sap course.txt contains this data and it has been replaced by that txt data okay so this is how uh, the poll language works and this is how we can connect a secure connection between sftp server and your sap tenant and yeah that's it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next session thank you goodbye